Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Despite the SUV craze, the B segment passenger car is actually one of the best selling vehicle segment in Malaysia. Don't believe me? Well, most manufacturer in our market today actually offers two offering within their lineup. Honda, for example, has the Honda City and the soon to be replaced Honda Jazz. While even our local company Proton has the twin Proton Persona and also the Proton Iris within their lineup. Toyota, on the other hand, has the Toyota Yaris hatchback and of course the Toyota Vios sedan. Despite having two offering and a relatively new car, Toyota has decided to update the Yaris and the Vios. With the recent launch of the new Honda City as well as the all new Nissan Almera, Toyota has given the twin Yaris and Vios a little bit of a nip and tuck so both of them can stay competitive. Not only that, Toyota also offers the Vios with a new sporty configuration in the form of the new Toyota Vios GRS. So in this first impression and drive of the new Toyota Vios, did Toyota did enough to keep both the Vios and the Yaris ahead of its competitor? Without further ado, this is ABB Automotive. So the Toyota Vios and the Toyota Yaris are essentially twins with the Vios being the sedan and the Yaris being the hatchback. They both share the same styling, chassis almost similarly equipped as well as the same mechanicals underneath. Both the Toyota Yaris and the Vios is powered by a 1.5 liter dual VVTi 4 cylinder petrol engine. So this engine produces 107 horsepower with 140 newton meters of torque. That power is sent to the front wheel via a 7 speed CVT. That powertrain has allowed the Vios and the Yaris to achieve EEV or energy efficient vehicle status here in Malaysia. Both the Toyota Vios and the Toyota Yaris features a McPherson strut front suspension while the rear is equipped with torsion beam. Both the car are also available with three trim level which is the base J spec, the mid E spec as well as the top of the range G spec. The exterior of the Toyota Vios is largely the same as the one before with only the major difference being the front end. Gornardo's messy miss and match design and hello handsome seriously this new face is miles better than the one before standard on all toyota vios variants are led high and low beam headlight as well as led daytime running light there is a new led fog lamp housing design that is inspired by its larger brother the toyota corolla altis in the center the large new grille gives the vios a more aggressive and sporty look which the old one lacks for the vios it features a grille that is finished in a cross air design while the yaris hatchback is finished in a honeycomb design instead other than that both cars look identical from the front Moving towards the side of the vehicle, the G and the E variant is fitted with a 16-inch machine finish alloy wheels that is wrapped in 195.50 tires, while the lower J variant make do with 15 inches wrapped in 185.60 tires. The top spec G Vios gets chrome door handles, while both the G and the E variants get power folding outside mirror. Moving towards the back of the car, both the G and the E variants get LED combination tail lamp while the J-Spec features regular incandescent bulb. The body kit that you see here is part of the optional package which costs 2,500 ringgit and can be included in your loan. The body kit consists of side skirts, 
front and rear lip as well as a rear trunk lid. Personally, for me, if you're buying this car, get the body kit. <laughs> so moving from the exterior to the interior of the Vios, just like outside, there isn't much change. The dashboard still look the same like before and is made out of a high-grade plastic. In the center, both the G and the E spec variant Vios gets a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system that support both Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. That same 7-inch touchscreen also double as the screen for your rear backup camera as well as the new 360-degree camera that feature a new vehicle graphic display. The 360-degree camera can also be activated by the turn of the indicator. Only the top of the range G-Spec variant is fitted with a perforated leather upholstery as well as a leather wrapped steering wheel. The steering wheel also can only be adjust tilted and not telescopic which is quite a shame. Besides that, the G variant also gets you a steering mounted pedal shifter, monochromatic rear view mirror, front parking sensors as well as 6 speakers while the others back do with just 4. There is a sizable console and a large traditional handbrake located in the center. Both the G and the E variant gets Optitron display for the speedometer and a 4.2 inch multi-info display. This speedometer also does a welcome dance whenever you start the car. A digital video recorder is also fitted as standard on the G and E variant. Standard equipment list on all Toyota Vios includes keyless entry with push button vehicle start and automatic air conditioning, two USB charging port, seven airbags, hill start assist, stability and traction control, rear isofix seat mount, as well as interior food illumination and an illuminated scarf plate, which is quite a premium touch. So right now I'm sitting in the back seat of the Toyota Vios. So the front seat is adjusted to my uh, usual driving position. I am 165 centimeter. Uh, room back here, um, in terms of space, I do have a lot of uh, leg room, not an issue with the leg room. Headroom, I'll have, uh, however, uh, it is my hair is touching the ceiling a little bit, but then not an issue. The angle of the seat back is quite reclined, so you can just slouch a bit. Okay, you, you can just slouch a bit, so your head will not be touching the ceiling. And then I tell you, um, it's actually quite comfortable back here. In terms of amenities, I do have a center armrest. Yay! and a couple of cup holders okay and then on top of that i do have two map pockets behind the front seat as well as two usb charger located uh, behind the uh, center console uh, you also have a cup holder um, located at the side here okay located at the side here and then um, the side armrest is also cushioned okay it's cushioned of course, with being a Toyota, you do get this rather useful ta tetare or your tapa hooks located behind the passenger side uh, headrest. So, so far only Toyota cars I see having this feature. Uh, most other manufacturers don't, don't have this. Both the Toyota Vios and the Toyota Yaris is actually one of the cheapest cars in Malaysia that you can get with Toyota's Safety Sense system. So the Toyota Safety Sense is basically Toyota's advanced driver assist system which includes pre-collision system, lane departure alert, blind spot monitoring as well as rear cross traffic alert. Unfortunately, in practice, the system can only warn you and not intervene as this type of features is only reserved for the Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. But then again, it's nice to have those system rather than having none at all. In the rear, the trunk of the Toyota Vios features 506 liters of space. If that space is not enough, the seats can be folded 60-40 but only on the G and E variant. Alright guys, so I'm driving the new Toyota Vios for a while now. So first impression of the car is a, it's a very comfortable car. Toyota has definitely set up this car to be um, having comfort over handling. So it's not to say that the Vios handles bad but then in this application I think the Vios is more comfortable as a daily commute car. Of course there are a lot of mods out there but upon getting into the, this car I went out of the parking lot and then went over a speed bump. The speed bump was relatively unintrusive into the cabin. So as a commuter car, this car is very comfortable. I give, I give uh, Toyota credit to that. 
even since the first generation Vios is always been known to have a very comfortable uh, ride. Um, I think Toyota nailed in the comfort department. This car also gets a 360 degree camera in which I like the graphic that they use for the car in the camera. It's much better than uh, some of the other uh, cars. The 1.5 liter dual VVTi engine is paired to a CVT transmission on this car. So the CVT, of course, you cannot deny that there is a little bit of that rubber bandy feeling. Um, but then that is common with uh, most CVT uh, nowadays. But the one thing I applaud Toyota is that uh, the CVT does have a very good uh, logic setup. So upon meshing the throttle, it does get you to um, the higher RPM as quickly as possible. So in terms of delay, it's alright. There is a little bit of delay there, but then it's not too much. So the one thing I like about the Vios as well is that on the top spec Vios, you do get a lot of safety features. You do have lane keeping assist. So the lane keeping assist, um, it beeps at you when you change your lane. So you do have to put on the signal, otherwise it will stay beeping at you. Comparing between the Yaris and the Toyota Vios, um, I got asked a few times, how do you compare between the two cars? So in general, the Vios is the sedan and the Yaris is the hatchback, but the Vios has a slightly higher price point which is typically around 2000 ringgit more than the Yaris from the front um, the Yaris has a honeycomb grille design whereas the Vios has the cross cross air design uh, so where the grille is uh, horizontal in terms of interior the Vios for the top spec you do get this leather upholstery seat while the Yaris, even in the higher spec, you still only get uh, fabric seats. Another thing that I want to point out that in the Vios, you do get pedal shifters located behind the steering wheel, while on the Yaris, you don't get this at all, even on the higher spec. So besides that, both the Toyota Yaris and the Vios is pretty much similar. They're using the same chassis, same engine. Yeah. The only difference that is from the back, one is a sedan, one is a hatchback. So it's definitely down to your preference. Are you a hatchback person or are you a sedan person? Visibility around the Vios is also not an issue. And there's no any awkward shape or window panel around the car. Toyota Vios to me is one of those car where you get into it and it just drives really easily. There's no learning curve to the Vios. So even you just pass your driving license or a beginner's car or a beginner's driver have no issue driving a Vios. It's a really easy car to drive. So which I think is a plus side for buyers out there. If you're just looking for a sedan with a lot of features, good reliability at an affordable price, the Toyota Vios is actually almost a no-brainer option. Okay, and then uh, besides that, now the Vios is really, really comfortable. I cannot stress like how comfortable the Vios is. Going over this pavement, you know, La Sabah, Sarawak, the pavement is like really, really bad. Despite the car really irons out the road imperfection. The cushioning of the Vios, it reminds me of a little bit of its bigger brother, the Camry. It has that, like you know when you go over a bump, it floats for a while before it crashes down. So the Vios comes with a keyless entry system, so this is the remote. Okay, it's a simple remote, but then um, it's a nice size and can easily be put in your pocket. So this is the Toyota Key Vios. The 360 degree camera will uh, become activate on its own when you are uh, when you flick the signal.
So prices for the Toyota Vios CKD here in Sarawak starts at 76,615 ringgit for the lowest J spec variant. So this is the price of the car on the road without insurance. Moving up, we have the E spec variant which costs 84,576,000 ringgit. While the top of the range G spec will cost you 89,576 ringgit. All Toyota Vios comes with 5 year unlimited mileage warranty. There are a total of 5 colors available for the Toyota Vios, which is the color that you've seen here called Orange Metallic, Platinum White Pearl, Dark Blue Metallic, Red Mika Metallic, as well as Silver Metallic. So is the Toyota Vios a car for you? Well, if you're looking for a solid D segment choice, then the Vios should definitely be on your list. It has a comfortable ride, Toyota's reputation for reliability as well as high resale value. Not only that, it is also quite safe having 7 airbags and also having the Toyota Safety Sense available in the mid-spec E variant. Unfortunately, it does have a rather uninspiring engine and a slightly tight rear headroom. But if all you need is a comfortable, reliable daily transportation, then the Vios is hard to beat. So with that, we come to the end of this video. If you like that video, do give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the little small bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post something new on my channel. I would like to say thank you for watching, stay safe, take care and have a nice day.